going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a special package from Nothing. If you've never heard of Nothing, it's a tech company and they make really, really, really nicely designed products. I think they just have a certain aesthetic and appeal that is the kind of thing I love and hope to do more of on this channel. I would love to work with Nothing more. Nothing, I would love to work with nothing more. No, but they did just release their ear opens, which is basically an open ear, earbud situation, which we're going to get into. We're going to unbox, go through the design and sort of first impressions. And then as always, I'll come back to you all after about a few days to a week and let you know sort of my full review on the product. If you're new to the channel, welcome. On this channel, we talk about tech from an intentional living and minimalist perspective. And we talk about tech from more of an experiential side of things. I don't really get into the whole specs or like how much battery life and stuff. Like, does it work for me? What's the experience like? How do I think it would work for you? Who's it for? Those are the kinds of questions we talk about on this channel. So please consider subscribing if you're new, like this video for more and let's get into it. So I need to add that I actually bought these with my own money. Nothing did not send these to me. I do have an Amazon link down below, which I'll get a tiny bit of kickback. I don't even know how much I'll get from that. But if at any time during this video, if you want to pick up some of these, you can check the Amazon link down below and grab yours there. So let's get into it. I've seen some other unboxings and other people got this really nice box that this box sat within, which I'm a little sad I didn't get that. I bought them right from the company website. So a little bummed about that, but let's check out the unboxing experience that we have here. All right. So that's all for that box. Here are the buds themselves. So let's go ahead and pull those out nice and small. We'll get into that in a second. Not the best unboxing experience, I'll say. So you have some paperwork here with a QR code on the front, scan QR code to install. I do like that, the Nothing app, which I did get on my phone. Safety information, warranty information is in there as well as like kind of a quick guide. And then here you have USB-C, USB-C. Looks like a very, very short cable, but should be good there. So get all that out of the way and we'll actually get into the AirBuds themselves here. So again, a nothing, nothing app QR code to scan there. The app's just gonna give you a little bit more functionality. I'm gonna be honest with you, this unboxing experience hasn't been as great as I kind of thought it might be. And I honestly don't even know how to get, <laughs> that little pool tab didn't work very well. All right, and here are the buds themselves. An interesting design, and they went for this sort of like dragonfly kind of theme with this thing, because it kind of does look like that. But those are the buds themselves. The case, nice and light, USB-C charging. There's a little indent right there to sort of help the back parts stay. I've heard these kind of flop around a little bit, but actually not really. I wonder if this indentation here on the front piece is something they added so that wouldn't happen as much. But nice magnetic enclosure, which does have a little LED light that pops up there so you can see when they're charging. But here are the buds themselves. Wow, nice and light. You can see we have a color code here, red for right and white for left. Sort of fits in with their theme. This is gonna take some getting used to. I've never had an open ear earbud before, just so you know. Looks like a pairing button here. Um, just so you can get an idea of the design. Nice silicone area that'll sort of wrap around the top of my ear. Battery's probably sitting right there. Some extra battery. And as you can see, these don't have a bud that actually goes in your ear. They go over the top of your ear and then sit right in the little canal there. I think I'm putting these on, right? Like I said, I've never owned any open ear headphones before, so I'm excited for this experience. Honestly, already doesn't feel like I have anything. I mean, I can feel them on because they're cold, but like weight wise, there's nothing in my ear. Uh, that was probably awesome. If we can get that in slow-mo. Uh, Actually, don't do that. Very, very comfortable. Wow. So yeah, first impression in terms of like the feel, you know, I had some concerns about the charging case. Also, this is sick. Watch this. Ready to go. Whereas like AirPods, I don't have them down here, but you open, put one in, maybe even switch hands to put the other one in. That's a whole thing. I just did that in sort of one swift movement. 
put it on the table. Boop, ah, boop. I'll get faster at that. That's nice. That's a lot faster, which is something maybe a lot of people haven't thought about with things like this. The design is fantastic. You probably all know that I love good design with technology. I love form and function, hence my newsletter. Check it out in the description down below, form and function. I love tech that looks amazing and also has a good amount of functionality. So this is a brand, I, like I said, I want to, to learn more about. Okay, so it does kind of, I'm sure you guys can hear that. Nothing crazy. I think the thing that was, sort of concerning me before I had these in hand was like pocketability. And I do think they're smaller than I thought. And I was thinking, you know, like that's kind of a wide footprint to slide into your pocket. But honestly, it's really nice to hold, slide it in your pocket like that, which is cool too. But let me go ahead and get them paired up to my phone here. Bluetooth. So the, the light here is blinking, which tells me it's ready to go. There it is, nothing ear open. Yeah, but I, I just can't talk enough about the, the brand and the, the design and the view of these things. All right, so they should be paired. Let's go ahead and slap them on my ears. So let's play some music here, which obviously you all won't be able to. It literally feels like they're not on my ears because I'm used to like shoving a bud into my ear. Whoa, the bass. Bonnevere's new space side is fantastic. Wow. And I can obviously hear everything around me because they're open. Just give me a second. I hear those vocals. All right, there's touch controls on these two. I'm not gonna get into that too much. I know that you can like kind of customize them. You can hop into the app here as well, which I haven't set up. So when I come back for the full review, I'll definitely go through the app, how I've sort of customized these to my liking. I am kind of blown away at the audio quality. It's, wow. That's cool. Nothing, let's be friends. Send me your phones and your watches and all your products from now until the end of time. I wanna dive into what it looks like to be a part of the Nothing family. I'm pumped on these. <laughs> I'm gonna go on a run later today. I'm gonna try them then. I'm gonna try them around the house, try them in the work environment, see how loud it truly is to others around me. Ask my wife if she can hear it. I'll let my wife try them. Anyway, I'm pumped, excited for this. Again, link in the description. I'll be back to you all in a few days after I've had a chance to try them out. I've been using the Nothing what are they called again? Nothing Ear Opens. That's right. For quite a few days now, I've been running with them. I've been wearing them around the house with the kids and family around. I've been wearing them a little bit at work. My sort of first impressions is, I think I mentioned earlier, this is my first open headphone ever, whether it's a headphone or earbud, my first open concept headphone. And for those of you who aren't familiar, it's basically just putting a speaker like right here and pointing it into your ear instead of having an actual tip in your ear blasting the music right in. It's just a speaker that's right around the outside of your ear. That way you can hear ambient noise and sounds. There's no noise canceling on these because it kind of defeats the purpose. The idea here is they're unobtrusive, they don't feel like you're wearing anything, yet you have music and phone calls and stuff and podcasts and audiobooks playing almost magically. I say almost because there's a lot I love about these. As I mentioned before, the design, fantastic. I mean, everything from like the way they design things to have this sort of like open concept with see-through design and kind of this like teenage engineering-esque vibe. I don't even, I'm not super in the design world to know what like that type of design is called or anything, but the design is cool. Even like the way it wraps around, it's weighted nicely between like this back here, which is I think some extra battery. It sort of just sits, I mean, it looks like an ear if you think about it. I have found actually that sometimes I forget I'm wearing them, other times I can feel them. It's almost like a fatigue, if I'm being completely honest. I think just anything sitting on any part of your body where there usually isn't anything, a ring for instance, you're gonna notice it. And I think maybe over time wearing these a lot, I would start to not realize that I'm wearing them, but I have found if I wear these for a couple hours, I actually do feel almost like this back metal piece, like squeezing in on my ear a little, just the added weight. I mean, they're very light, but the added weight that's not usually there, sitting and pooling on my ear, you do notice it. As for like 
walking around the house, listening to music and being able to hear and talk to my, my kids and my wife, you gotta keep the music down low. And I feel like usually when I'm listening to music, I want it kind of loud and like pumping me up or whatever it might be or fitting the vibe of my mood. And so you really have to be kind of listening to the music in the background to even hear like my, my daughter coming up to me and trying to talk to me. If I have the music where I would like it to be, I still need to turn it down to hear her. So there's that, which is interesting. I think overall the experience is cool. I'm gonna keep these. I think they're really cool, especially for running like with cars and stuff, like being able to hear your surroundings while you're running is super important and having like AirPods on and running and everything's blocked out, not ideal. So I like running with these. I will say because they aren't like in your ear, I constantly have felt like they're like falling off or they're not in the right place but they are. I mean, this design right here keeps them in the right place. There's not really a way that uh, these would like come off. I don't know, it's a strange experience for someone who's never worn something like this. The final thing I'll say that was a con, like a major con is I let my daughter put these on for a few minutes just to see like if they would fit her little ears, which they kind of didn't. They were like hanging out like this, which is kind of cute, but then I went to take them off her and give them to my wife. And this piece was like 200 degrees, like really hot. And I don't know why. I think it was just this right one, like the, the red one. It was so hot, like really hot. And I put it on my wife and she was like, ow. And like, that was weird. It only, it's only happened once that one time. And I, I don't know why that happened. I don't think it was a matter of like, it was getting hot while it was charging because I had taken it off and giving it to my daughter. So I'm not really sure what happened there, but that is of concern. And I don't know if that's something other users have found as well, or if it's just a fluke thing that happened one time to me, hasn't happened since, but just something to be aware of that was kind of wild. Let's get into some other stuff here. So I really have enjoyed them as music playing. What I'm missing being an iPhone user is being able to use Siri. You can't, as far as I can tell, like they don't pick up Siri and stuff. So I'm missing them on that. However, they do have chat GPT integration, but only if you're using a nothing or maybe CMF phone. So I think to get the full experience of these, you have to be a nothing phone user. And I really hope to have one one day. I would love to continue to dive into nothing products. And like I said, the design, like I'm in love with their designs, even like the CMF lineup. I'd love to test out a watch, a phone, all of that stuff. I just like what they're doing. It's fun. It's like, it's like fun technology. Like they're, they're trying to do things well and intentionally and professionally, but there's also a certain amount of fun mixed in with everything that kind of goes beyond like tech giant Apple, right? Like tech giant Apple is going to be good and easy to use and professional, well-made, but like, and try to be, I don't know. I don't really know how to explain it. Like there's just more fun to be had in watching this company do things than I feel like someone like Apple, for instance. I don't know. So I wanna be a part of this and I wanna explore their other products. So nothing, if you're watching this, I'd love to work with you all some more. Yeah, but that's my review of the Nothing Ear Opens. So I do have a link in the description, affiliate link to the Amazon page if you wanna pick yours up from Amazon. Otherwise, just check out the Nothing website to order yours. And I'd get a little bit of a kickback to help the channel, so I'd appreciate that. I will say as an iPhone user and these, they pair really well. The touch controls where you're like pinching and stuff and turning up the music, turning down the music. On here, by the way, you can do that all from the headphone. All of those features are super nice. USB-C charging. The size hasn't bothered me at all. I love the fact that I can just go like this, whoop, and I'm ready to go, right? Like that's so fast, which I mentioned earlier as well. Yeah, I don't know. If you have any other questions about these, let me know in the comments and I will answer you. I've enjoyed them. They have some quirks. I think the biggest problems, again, is that I have an iPhone and not a nothing phone. So would be interested in like almost reviewing these again if I'm able to get a nothing phone. I think that would be an interesting like sort of comparison there, how much better these actually work when paired with a nothing phone. But anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. Like this video for more, watch this video next. I think you're gonna love it and I'll see you all in the next one.